Hey, morning guys. Uh, this morning came in. Uh, we saw we have a unit here that uh, driver states uh, has a uh, low power. So on this one, uh, we were kind of going through the unit, and um, well, we think the issue is not engine or nothing like that. We think the issue is a DPF filter on this one. Uh, it's going to be pretty clogged, I think. So. Um, First thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run a force regen on this one. I tried using the park regen button on the unit. It doesn't want to kick in. It doesn't want to function. Uh, basically, it's already passed its cycle. When, uh, the re uh, when the little light came on for the driver to pull over and hit the park regen, he didn't do it. Continue driving. So uh, DPF filter is a little too uh, sill levels above 60 percent so it's a little too high for the park regen to function on its own we're gonna have to do a force regen on this one so um let me go ahead and show you guys uh, i already got the scanner on so let me show you on this one guys uh we're using uh um, ned j1939 module whatever blah blah over here we got the uh, max force dt which that's an engine uh data link error coming out is pending but I'm not gonna worry about that one here guys uh, first thing we got to do is we gotta go gotta go to tests you gotta do a key on engine running and you have to perform a standard test before it'll let you do anything so there we go standard test Once we got that one done, okay, then we'll go back to tests, we'll do a after treatment test, key on engine running, and then we do an onboard filter cleanliness test, hit that, and it'll start. waiting for that region to start it's going so here the one we got to kind of keep an eye on is you go up here to temperatures hit that those are your temperatures the DOCIT DPF and DPF out all right before this unit will start to regen, that uh, the DPF, the inlet, has to be or has to go above 500 degrees. As soon as that happens, the dozer injector will kick on and start rising. Uh, that temperature is going to rise to a little over a thousand degrees. Let me show you the downstream. All right, there, the, eight, the after treatment injector is not even functioning. I mean, it's got 70 pounds of pressure, but as you can see, it is not injecting it to zero PSI and zero gallons, it's disabled. This thing will not enable or start functioning until the temperature is above 500. It's almost there, guys. We took it out for a little run. So the muffler, uh, exhaust was already above 300, so it shouldn't take that long. Let me go ahead and show you this. 470. Let me show you the... It's still disabled. Temperature hasn't re... Uh, temperature's not up to where it's supposed to be yet. Let's give it a couple of seconds.
still nothing. So 484. Four eighty five. I uh, bear with me guys. I wanted to do this one two time. I didn't want to do a time lapse or nothing like that. So I'm gonna try and do this this way. 49. And it's still disabled. It's still not kicking in. I mean sometimes it'll do it like at 490, 495. Sometimes it won't until it actually hits the 500 at Well guys, uh, I ended up doing a little bit of that time lapse because it was going to take forever. These things, la uh, the regen lasts for roughly like 30 minutes, give or take. Uh, I didn't want to hold the camera on two times for that long, so uh, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, basically, there's your inlet temperature for the, uh, the DPF. There's the outlet temperature for the DPF. And there's your DOC temperature at the very, very top. Uh, this thing is at a thousand degrees exhaust. Uh, the exit is 988. So there's very, very close, which means the hot air hitting the BPF at the beginning is actually exiting a little, uh, you know, a little less in uh, temperature in Fahrenheit. So 
What that tells me is that the DPF filter is somewhat cleaned out. Uh, let's go ahead and check the injector real quick. The inject, oh shoot. There we go. The injector still enabled. Now we can see the PSI and the fuel pressure, the injector pressure, how many gallons per hour, so on and so forth. So on this one guys, uh, normally we do this and when for whatever reason the temperature doesn't go above 500 and it stays under 500, it's never going to kick in, it's never going to clean your filter. You have to check the system out. It could be your injectors clogged, it can be your temperature probes are full of soot and they're not functioning properly. I mean there's other things you got to check but on this one we lucked out. Everything is working. Uh, so all I'm waiting for is for this thing to actually stop and uh, well it'd be done. Uh, once it's done I'm going to come back and I'm going to go ahead and check the soot level see how much lower they are from what they were. Uh, anything under 5% I'm okay with. Uh, we'll come back and check on this one. But I just want to show you guys the temperatures, how we, I mean, how we know if the DPF is getting cleaned or not. And like I said, I mean, when you go to your temperatures, it has to be above 500 for the set. Well guys, uh, I just want you guys to see uh, how we do uh, force region on these things and what we look for. Uh, the one thing we always look for is that temperature on the DOC inlet and DOC D, D, DPF inlet and DPF out. Uh, if it doesn't hit 500 day, this thing is never going to start to region. So we watch out for that. Once it hits 500, we go in and we check the downstream injection. Uh, make sure that the injector goes from disabled to enabled and you want to make sure that the fuel pressure and uh, the gallons per hour and so on and so forth do show a reading. That's just to tell you that the seventh dozer injector is pumping fuel into that DPF filter and uh, well, you'll see the temperature rise to above 1000. Uh, if, the, if the DPF filter doesn't hit 1000 degrees, it's not getting clean. So. Uh, this one, like I said, we looked out, everything was working properly, so didn't give us any kind of work. On some, we do have to go in and troubleshoot the dozer, injector, nozzle, probe, and stuff like that, because for whatever reason, something is not working right, and the temperature is going to go above 500. Well, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Like and comment.